What's up, everybody? Hey, everyone. We are back to vlogging. Back at it. We did it for 31 days straight, and yeah. now we've been off for like seven days, and it feels like we haven't vlogged in like 100 years. It feels like it's been a while. So, we got a super cool thing for you today. We officially hit 10,000 10, miles in Lucille. Yes. So, with that, we wanted to reflect back on the 10,000 miles that we have put on this baby. And honestly, as we've been looking back, it seems like it's been forever. Yeah, so we bought this bus in July, but what got us here is we went to a tiny house festival in Brighton, Colorado, and we ended up finding another bus very similar to ours. We spent some time in there. We realized that it fit good. We liked the size. And so the following morning, we found Lucille. <laughs> Um, some friends of ours lived, or still do live, in Sholo, Arizona, and Lucia was like 10 minutes away in Pine Top, Arizona, so we ended up actually forwarding them money, and they literally <laughs> went down and put a down payment on it, and like three weeks later, Tanya and I made the drive about 12 hours in our actual, in Lucy, our white bus, yes. and picked up Lucille. Yeah, and so when we got her, she had everything, seats, all of it. It was a yellow school bus with the emergency lift and all the seats and the things and the buzzers and the lights and all the things. Yeah, so we went down, we picked up the bus. I followed behind Dustin who drove Lucille. I was driving Lucy and we took it back to Denver, Colorado where we were staying and that's when the renos begin. Right, so we first started ripping the seats out, ripping the floor out, ripping the ceiling out, the lift, the everything had to go. So we took it all to the scrap yard, threw it all away and started rebuilding our home. Yes, basically all we really got done is the bed that was the first thing that we wanted to do. Yeah, so we plugged all the holes in the floor, we painted it all so that we didn't have no rust, we put some quiet mat down, then we put the plywood down, and then we started on the bed. Yep, so we built out the bed, and then we decided we needed to get it painted. Um, we needed to paint the bus because most of the rules, you cannot have a yellow school bus, and we had a trip coming up. Yep. So we wanted to paint it, which we spent all of Labor Day weekend in the parking lot, spray paint, painting Lucille. Yes, so we were in a motel parking lot, four days, 29 cans of spray paint, sweat, blood, and literal tears. And Lucille is officially Modern Mint Green. We bought Denver out of Modern <laughs> Mint did. Green spray we, paint. We had to call everywhere to check to see if they had more paint because we were running low. But we finished the job and two days later, we took off and we headed to Flaming Gorge in, we think we were on the Utah side. Yeah, Flaming Gorge National Reservoir. It's both in Wyoming and Utah. Right. We spent a night or two there. We spent one night one there. One night there and off to Salt Lake City to actually hang out with the people that we work for now. Yes. So we're in a group and we had this huge uh, meetup and so we met everybody and now we literally are right back here, literally sitting in the warehouse right now mm -hmm. of where we work, which is four lines, not sheep. Yeah, for sure. So after that weekend, we had plans to set off to go to Yellowstone National Park. Um, Dustin and I had been trying to hit national parks within our reach for ever since we started traveling back in 2018. So off to Yellowstone we went with, again, nothing but a bed. No insulation, nope. no nothing. <laughs> no lights. Uh, we had a table, a fold-up table that we used to meal prep on and cook, and that was it. And that a was, flashlight. And a that flashlight. was our light. That was all that we had. So we went to Yellowstone, uh, spent the entire week there. It was an absolute blast. Yeah. Uh, it was cold. It was super cold, but it really didn't bother us. No. So after a week of Yellowstone, we headed back to Denver, and that's where we started getting back busy on the bus. Yeah, so um, we cut the ceiling fan in, we got the spray foam insulation done, we finished the garage, which is what we call the garage, underneath the bed with all the things that we needed for that. We did put the shower pan in because we knew that we were going to put a shower bathroom. Um, and so we had the pan, so we had that, but we didn't have no hookup of the toilet or anything at the time. 
And with that, <laughs> we literally hit the road again. Yes. We took a two month leave from work in September of 2019, where we stopped at Hanging Lakes in Colorado. Yep. We stopped at Capitol Reef National Park. We stopped at Bryce Canyon National Park. We stopped at Zion yeah, National Park. Park. We went to Sedona. And then to Sholo. And then to Sholo, where we bought our bus <laughs> to the same people's house that helped us get this bus, where we really started doing some work on the bus. Yeah, for sure. So that's where we started building the couch. We got our fridge slash counter area put in, um, as well as the kitchen area. Um, just framed out. We just framed out the kitchen. Yeah, we were still using the white fold-up table. Yep, and then our bathroom wall. And that's as far as we got. Oh, and then also Dustin. Oh, in the closet. In the closet. Yeah. And then Dustin and Preston uh, built out our bumper. We did the roof rack or the rooftop deck for our solar and half deck. We did the rear ladder and then our entire rear bumper. And all of that happened in two months. <laughs> and it doesn't seem like much, but it was like daily. It was crazy. Sunlight to sundown. Yeah. And so. Crazy. That was very awesome. We we had a ton of help from Preston at Bare Metal Fab. He did an awesome job. They let us stay at their house and like as two couples, we were, we had an awesome time for two months. Yeah, for sure. Then we headed back to Denver. Yeah. Because I was still working and we had to go back to Denver. So that was where we headed. Yeah, we, we got back the week of Thanksgiving. Um, so we ended up actually spending Thanksgiving and Christmas in a hotel. Yeah. Uh, first time we ever did that. So that was different. Yeah. Um, and then that's when Dustin decided to leave his job and for us to leave and live in this bus full time working for ourselves. Not finished. Not finished. Oh, I, right, we, right. We did get solar before we left Denver. We had the solar hooked up and a couple of things wired. So like, yeah, we had. We, we had, didn't have lights. No, 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 no lights. I think we had the toilet hooked up yep. so that the fan would blow, and then Our we had fridge. the solar hooked up and the fridge hooked up, and that was literally it. Yeah, that, that was, was it. it. So January second, we left, mm -hmm. um, and we headed to. Alamogordo, New, New Mexico. Mexico. And that's where I got sick. I got really, really sick. And it was so, it was really crazy because it was the first time of us living in the bus, figuring it out. I was sick. Dustin's trying to figure everything out on his own. And um, yeah, I was out for like a week. Yeah. So she got like healthy <laughs> enough that we could leave. <laughs> And we headed to Jesus. White Sands oh, yeah. National Park yeah. in Alamogordo. And it, it was actually a national park. We were some of the first people to get to go through as a national park because it used to just be a national monument. Right. From there, we got a motel for two days because she was still sick and basically just let her like die for two <laughs> days. And then she could shower. She could, you know, like the, the, the Nothing concern. Is Nothing is worse than when you're sick and all you want is like a hot shower just to like kind of feel good and you don't have it. Yep. So that was like a godsend really. So then we went to Tucson and we went to Saguaro National Park Yeah, we and stayed she there. was feeling good by then. We yeah. stayed in Tucson a few days. We did do some work on the bus yep. um, and then we headed to Phoenix where we spent a few days with my cousins. Yeah, and we went to the zoo. Yeah. We went to, uh, I don't remember the rock that has the sun. Set. I don't remember either. Something, something, something. But anyway, we went to this cool rock where you got to see the sunset and it was just absolutely beautiful. And who took the best picture there? You did. Oh, course. okay. Okay. Uh, so from there, where did we head? We went to Schoolie Palooza 2020. Um, it was more than we ever imagined. Yeah. 200, 150, 175, 200 buses, campers, pickups, everybody hanging out in the desert who's living in vehicles and doing the thing, like-minded people, having some drinks, adult time, there's kids running around, there's dogs running around, and it was everything that we imagined. And then and more, so. yeah. And so we were there for an entire week. Um, and then after it was over, we ended up hanging out with, uh, a couple of people out in the desert and what did we do so we hung out with bricks of happiness transcend existence and chris with the off-grid schoolie mm -hmm. and the bockley's from the bockley six bus we 
all oh yeah life is a joy was there too oh, yeah, life so is like a joy. Uh, several of us met up and literally it was bus build time so we yeah. were we worked me and wes and chris worked on zep 3 which is now i think completely finished and on the road uh I did all like 90% of our bus. I did the ceiling, I did all the wiring, I did the cabinets, I did the the upper cabinets, I did the lower cabinets, the drawers, you did the, the floor. floor, all the lights, all the wiring. Yeah. All in like a month. And then we all or I guess we went to Denver uh from we went to Vegas and then to Denver and back and then we all went to california me chris and west to do a roof raise on hainaka's bus so like february and march was straight bus build it was crazy and now it was crazy now we're in salt lake city yeah now we're in salt lake city we spent some time in california doing the roof raise yeah then from we there went we went to uh nevada we, mm -hmm. went, we went back to vegas um and then we spent some time outside of the Valley, Valley of Fire, Fire State Park, which was absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we decided to make our way to Utah. Yeah, Valley of Fire is kind of where the corona hit, and so we were like just kind of out in the middle of yeah. nowhere. And then some openings came open in Salt Lake City with a friend of mine, Halo, who is the ink goddess of tattoos, and I jumped at it. So yeah. we came to Salt Lake because people were backing out because of the virus. And I was all in. So she did the tattoo of the bus, of my bus on first my back. Session, yeah. yeah, the bus was the first session and now it's actually done. The sunset and all that is all done. My back is done. <laughs> it's still healing, but it's done. Right. So that's kind of where we have stopped uh, is in Salt Lake City, Utah. And as we had mentioned in our live video, if you hadn't watched that, we have picked up a job. Yep. Um, we are working to help a friend out for the summer. And so we're kind of just setting some roots here in Salt Lake City for, for the next couple of months. Yep, so we're helping with an apparel line. We're, we're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Obviously, we're still running around. We went to some graffiti uh, at Tanner Park. Tanner that was Park. an awesome hike. We went to uh, we, Adams County. We went uh, to Antelope Island. Antelope Island was full of full of gnats. Gnats. Biting, biting gnats. gnats. <laughs> Yuck. No. We went there on my birthday and we were going to hike and it was like, uh, no, that's not going to happen. So a good friend reached out to Dustin and told us about Adams Canyon to the, the waterfall hike. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, and that's kind of all that we've done since we've been here yeah i so mean we far. went camping with some friends we've we've just kind of done the social distancing and of course we added the new addition journey sure. she's actually outside chewing on sticks right now <laughs> yes yeah, she is so um that's another new addition within the ten thousand miles of lucille yes. and she was probably one of the best additions she was the best addition yeah we love her so much we do love her and again we thank you guys for everybody that helped donate yes. we do have the shirts coming yep, we have been in, in contact production. yep we're we're in production mode once we get them we're going to ship them out we appreciate everybody and understanding how this all works yes uh, but yeah, we were able to donate $500 so another dog can find the house that they need. Absolutely. It's been a crazy wild ride, 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles, like 10 national parks. And it hasn't even been a year. Five different states, Isn't five that... or six different states. Yeah. Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. Nevada, Wyoming, California. Yeah. Arizona, six or seven states. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah, it's um, been a crazy wild ride, and like I said, it hasn't even been a year yet, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. So. With that, we wanted to share this special edition or special news with you. Yeah. Um, just kind of a recap of our time with Lucille. Yeah, since literally. We, since we've got her. Ten thousand miles and and a hundred thousand stories. Yeah. Um, we just had a lot of fun. <laughs> we've met a lot of really cool people and. We're just excited. It's it's awesome. We we absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. It's cool that we're settled down right now. We're able to get some like normalcy in our lives, and and we're actually studying to become certified personal trainers. So we have a ton going on. 
but it's nice to have internet and have you know where we're not fighting the thing so it's it's we're still living in the bus it's just a little different now uh, but we do clearly have a million more plans to travel we're nowhere near done no. i think by the time uh the dust settles on the coronavirus and all the things it will be about the time that we're gonna probably hit the road again yeah for sure um and we do have plans of doing a meetup in around Salt Lake City area while we are here. The date is to be determined, so we will be sure to let you know when that happens. Yeah, and let us know if there's anything you guys would like to hear from us or if what you guys have for plans. Like if you want to meet up, let's, let's get a date set, let's do the whole thing, and let's have a fun-ass time. Yeah, for sure. With that, Thank you guys. Thanks for the 10,000 miles. Yes. Thanks for the probably 50 videos that we put out <laughs> in the meantime. We're truly grateful for every follower. Um, we got new ones, we got old ones, and we're grateful for every one of them. Absolutely. So with that, guys, we appreciate you. We love you. We love you, and we will see you next Sunday. Next Sunday. Spread love. Bye, guys.